Welcome back to LiveWorks 2020. My name is Andia Winslow and I'm your host for today's live stream event. Throughout the day, we will be hearing from some of the top technology thought leaders who will share their insights around the impact of digital transformation. Also, LiveWorks is offering an on-demand catalog where you can explore over 100 additional sessions of great content from today through June 19th. Be sure to check it out. And keep an eye out for an upcoming email to gain access to our content archive for an entire year. Now, let's begin our next session, Digital Transformation, the technology and support you need to succeed. Kevin Wren, Executive Vice President of Products at PTC, and Eduarda Camacho, EVP and Chief Customer Officer at PTC, are going to discuss why digital transformation is more important than ever, how PTC continues to innovate across their entire portfolio of products, and how they are committed to improving customer experiences and outcomes. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to introduce from PTC, Kevin Wren and Eduarda Camacho. Thank you, Andia. We are both really excited to be here today. And to share with you the technology and support that PTC can offer to help customers succeed on their digital transformation journey. With all that is going on in this new normal that we find ourselves with, I am amazed that all of you, more than 15,000 of you from around the world, are here today. What a powerful community of people that just want to move forward. Thank you. As Chief Customer Officer, my role is to hear from you, to work with you, to elevate your success. So to the 50 customers that are presenting at LiveWorks 2020, a special thank you. You're an inspiration to me. I am so looking forward to sharing some of their success stories with all of you during this session. Now we have a lot in store for you today, including how you can be more effective in your role. But before we jump into things, I too want to thank you. You, our customers, are all heroes. While facing unprecedented disruption, you're all rising to the many challenges of COVID-19. You even being here with us today demonstrates your dedication to finding ways to respond in order to keep your enterprises afloat and our whole economy vibrant. Now, it's no secret that this latest disruption in today's world has created a new normal, and there's many lessons that have come from it. If you've had a chance to listen to Jim's opening keynote, he talked about strategies to thrive in this new normal and how digital transformation is essential to each and every one. Now, as the EVP of products here at PTC, just like all of you, our teams are committed to enable our customers' success through the disruption and the new normal. From a product perspective, we haven't stopped. We have and will continue to release new software and fixes to ensure that you can still improve your business continuity and deliver to your customers. As one example, we recently shipped Creo 7, the most technically ambitious release of Creo in over a decade, including new generative design, new multi-body design ability, and also advancing Creo Simulate Live with real-time fluids analysis. All of this on time and without disruption. We also have created customer success programs to help many of you through this crisis by helping you to your setup to work from home, addressing some of your acute support needs with 24 seven, or giving you access to technology that can make a difference in these days all while enabling you to keep your employees safe. Now, you're here because you want to drive digital transformation in your companies. It's a mandate now more than ever when the physical world has been disrupted. The results confirm it. Many leading industrial companies, both big and small, have already achieved high returns on their investment. Today, Kevin and I will share stories from some really impressive customers. You will hear how innovation in the engineering process has allowed for mass customization with a shortened design cycle. How you can improve the manufacturing efficiency to remain competitive. How developing a new digital service can create double digit impact to your end customers. And how to reduce service parts supply chain overhead by 20% and improve asset uptime. And finally, oh well, let's keep that one a secret. We'll end on a very special note. So stay tuned and let's get going. Have you faced the challenge of shortening design cycles, increased product personalization while managing a distributed team of engineers? Rod Gill, Royal Enfield's head of CAD and CAE, did. 
Ryan Enfield is an Indian motorcycle company with very British roots, manufacturing motorbikes since 1901. Their customers are mostly in Europe and in India. A fun fact though, they actually produced more motorcycles last year than all of the European and North American manufacturers put together. Now, the riders of Royal Enfield want their bikes to represent their personalities. This means Royal Enfield needs to excel in personalization and customer intimacy, but while producing at scale. So they took the challenge and worked to better manage the complexities of mass customization and respond to the market demands. Rod leads a distributed team of 160 engineers across multiple sites and disciplines, from systems, product, support, and manufacturing engineering. With a clear business goal in mind of increasing personalization options while reducing design cycles, Rod saw the opportunity to leverage to the full extent technologies that the team was already using and develop really innovative engineering approaches. Although Ryan Enfield is a long-time PTC customer, they were on old versions of the technology. So the starting point was upgrading Creo and Windchill to the latest releases so they could leverage all of these new great capabilities. From there, they moved on to transform their processes for platform and variance design, introduced simulation much earlier into the design process using the power of Creo Simulation Life, and then went even further by leveraging cutting edge technology of generative design, bringing artificial intelligence into engineering and applying it to engine and chassis really complex custom force components. Last but not least, they retrained and retooled their engineering staff to fully leverage the power of the new processes and technologies. The whole team now has new digital capabilities that accelerate new product designs, variants, and accessories for additional personalization, and is able to deliver on a much shortened design cycle. But they will not stop here. Ryan Enfield's digital transformation story will continue as the digital thread of product information moves on to transform other functions in the company. Ryan Enfield is investing in new ways to create value by leveraging augmented reality with the Vuforia suite with great, really compelling use cases. Showcasing new bikes and highlighting new features in marketing and sales events together with their partners with a combination of physical models and digital representations. Exploring the area of service training and maintenance, doing functional performance reviews in global distributed collaborative sessions. And my favorite, piloting augmented reality for training on the assembly processes. This will fill what is a very common gap when onboarding new production workers to help the transition between off-site classroom with a book and the production facilities, Ryan Enfield is training and providing to these new workers with augmented reality training on site, on the job, dramatically accelerating time to productivity. So we are so looking forward to hearing about the results of this next phase. A key success factor for Rod and Ryan Enfield's results is how productive his team is in leveraging all of this great technology that is available combined with the evolved processes to achieve engineering excellence. As you are driving transformation, you also need new ways to reskill and retool. A big part of the solution is having access to the training that your team needs when they need it. So at PTC, we have a new offering that is addressing this specific challenge. The new Learn online subscription provides unlimited access to regularly scheduled classes that are delivered online. These live instructor-led classes are actually designed from the ground up to be engaging, interactive, and delivered virtually, of course. 
Each course provides our customers with a live lab environment so they can truly experience the PTC solutions from anywhere around the world. Our curriculum team launches new and updated courses every quarter, which then became available as part of this subscription so your teams can stay current and with the latest solutions and continue to develop new skills. The Learn subscription also includes PTC certification program, which allows students to validate their knowledge as they pass key learning milestones. We launched Learn six months ago for Creo and just launched a Learn ThingWorks subscription. We'll expand to other PTC products later in the year, so stay tuned. I have to say the student feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. So thank you to our Learn Online customers. If you are driving engineering excellence, be sure to check similar stories from other companies in the LiveWorks catalog. While you're there, be sure and join my colleague, Paul Sagar, to learn about what is new in Korea Roadmap. Especially is going to focus on big innovative approaches, some of which you saw Ryan Enfield is already leveraging. Generative design, Creo Simulation Live, now with real-time fluids analysis, or the new powerful tools of multi-body design. Also, the other Kevin, Kevin O'Brien, will take you through a journey along the product-driven digital thread, taking trusted design engineering information and then extending it across the enterprise to improve time to delivery, reduce product risk, reduce scrap, and improve quality. So be sure to check out both of these sessions. Eduardo, that's such a terrific story. I think you might remember that we had a Royal Enfield motorcycle in our offices for a while. It's a really pretty cool looking motorcycle. Like they say, modern classic. Now that fun fact that you mentioned is really interesting that they built more motorcycles last year than all of the North American and European manufacturers combined and that they were all personalized. At that scale, it's just amazing. Okay, now that Eduarda has highlighted successful digital transformation in engineering, let's move on to the manufacturing processes. Now, have you ever faced such cost pressure in a manufacturing facility that it actually forced you to think about moving to another location while at the same time needing to innovate and improve quality? That's the kind of pressure that Eddie Van Stroop faced. He's the VP Business Line Automotive and On-Road at VCST. VCST is part of the BMT group. They're a world-class automotive manufacturer of precision machined powertrain and brake components. Their customers are auto OEMs and tier one suppliers. Now their problem that they had high costs for a production facility that they had in Belgium. They either needed to dramatically improve their cost efficiency in their plant or be faced with the prospects of needing to shut it down. This is where Eddie Van Stroot comes in. He decided that relocating the factory was not the answer, but digi that digital transformation was the answer. He not only wanted to keep the plant in Belgium, he wanted for his customers to be able to rely upon more flexible and faster response time from VCST. His idea was, along with improving OEE in the factory, they also needed to reduce the FTEs associated with maintenance of the machines. Now they're implementing ThingWorks so that anyone can have instant visibility to asset status and performance. They're also creating the ability to digitize maintenance requests and the ability to inquire about spare parts from ERP. This is aimed at improving the overall cost efficiency in support of their cost reduction goals. Another interesting part of the VCST story is in quality and innovation. In quality, their goal is to reach zero complaints from their customers. In fact, if any quality problems appear at their customers, they may be forced to do 100% inspection until the problem has been proven to be resolved. This is, of course, an enormous cost. As for innovation, as cars have gotten more quiet with electrification, noise from gears has become a problem. This puts additional pressure on VCST to innovate to reduce gear noise. So, how is VCST meeting these challenges? Well, for innovation, they're implementing closed loop quality with ThingWorks and Windchill. ThingWorks to monitor and gather precise measurements and Windchill to collect and share information for joint collaborative analysis to innovate and reduce gear noise. 
And for quality, they are again implementing closed loop quality using a combination of ThingWorks for monitoring the machines, wind chill for process plans, in fact, 65 steps or a thousand instructions for the machines, and also wind chill for Kappa governance. Additionally, they're planning to use the power of Euphoria Expert Capture and Euphoria Chalk for training frontline workers to further improve their efficiency and cost effectiveness, especially in maintenance. Of course, their project was complicated by the COVID crisis that threatened their plans. But rather than delay their smart factory initiative, Eddie did quite the opposite. He decided to use this time to get a jump on the competition and accelerate their plans rather than put them on hold. VCST is in the process of connecting suppliers, people, devices, machines, and customers in systems and smart applications resulting in more reliable and integrated processes, thus higher quality. Now that is how VCST is driving manufacturing efficiency and beating the challenge of high local manufacturing costs. Now they're not done with their digital transformation. They have further plans to implement Creo for CAD and Windchill for PLM to enable an end-to-end -end digital thread connected to the factory. Okay, how did they do all this? They leveraged their partner and ours, Ad Ultima. The Ad Ultima Product Innovation Department worked very closely with VCST to understand their problem, to gain some insight into the business processes, and then to collaborate with them on a plan to move forward with their digital transformation. Now they've gotten a good deal done, but they have a lot more work to do. And you should know that PTC does provide success paths that are focused on delivering value to our customers and our partners based on their use case rapidly and predictably. Our success paths provide prescriptive guidance to our partners and customers, enabling them to accelerate the timeline and minimize the risk to achieving value while driving digital transformation with our software. Now we've developed recommended success paths for a lot of common use cases, including how to build a ThingWorks solution for manufacturing. To learn more about improving factory operations, you should attend a great session in the LiveWork catalog hosted by two of PTC's top executives, Craig Melrose and Howard Heppelman. You don't want to miss it. Wow, I never had that one, Kevin. Problems with high cost production facilities, especially in the automotive sector. Anyway, I love to hear how Eddie and the team, instead of throwing up their arms in the crisis, they leaned in and seized the moment to accelerate the transformation. Really well done. So now to the next scenario. So the products and equipment have been manufactured, but they have to be used in operational settings, such as factories, hospitals around the world, right? So if you are driving a digital transformation strategy that is aimed at creating value throughout the end-to-end -end process in your industry, you're most likely investing in the digital component of that solution. Even if you are not a software company at heart, that is actually the challenge that Stephen Hoffer, the digital transformation leader at Bid Group, is undertaking. The privately owned Bid Group Holdings operates in the wood processing industry. It's one of its largest integrated suppliers and is the North American leader in this field. Now, Bid Group's purpose is to deliver a complete range of innovative equipment, digital technologies, turnkey installations, and aftermarket services to their customers. As you can imagine, leveraging the power of digital to provide immediate impact to their own customers was nothing short of a challenge and required a strong vision, strong leadership at Bid Group. They were coming from a very traditional industry at early stages of digital transformation. It really represented the cultural shift so bid groups decided to focus their areas of expertise and rely on PTC, Microsoft, and Rockwell's combined capabilities and scale to deliver a SaaS-type, ready-to-go solution to their own industry. Leveraging this combined power, Stephen and his team developed a digital strategy for service to improve the mill efficiency and profitability. For the operators in the forest products industry who need improved profitability in any given market condition, the solution that they named Operate 
provides real-time insights that optimize fiber recovery, productivity, and sales realization. Now, Operate is built on the Thingworks platform, which allowed Bid Group to provide to their customers an out-of-the-box solution with rapid time to value and a low total cost of ownership, integrated with Bid Group's industry-leading service team. So phase one of the project is now complete. They have a solution in production for asset health monitoring, and it's already deployed in 13 mills. It took them an average stand-up time per mill of one to two weeks, which you can imagine allows for really rapid scale. Now phase two is underway, and it includes strengthening the operate functionality with the predictive analytics module to reduce downtime, and Bid Group is working with PTC and with our partner Rockwell to develop this solution, leveraging ThingWorks Analytics and Logics AI. Also, Stephen and the team are already embracing the power of augmented reality to better service the equipment, to train their customers, and to train their own employees. For example, now during the crisis, forced to work from home, they started using chalk to remote assist their customers and the field engineers and technicians. Another major success to highlight in this program is how Bid Group and PTC work together to create a go-to-market model for Operate, from marketing strategies to a value-based pricing model for their solution, reflecting really the impact, the double-digit impact it drives for their customers. We did a joint value assessment between Bid Group and the PTC experts and anticipated the double-digit improvement across some really key metrics for these operators in the forest products industry. We can achieve between 30 and 60% increase in operator productivity, 10 to 20% reduction in the cost of quality, almost 30% increase in throughput, and a 30 to 50% reduction in downtime. Just anecdotally, in one of the mills, one of the customers avoided a $5 million capital investment by leveraging the power of Operate. Just as impressive is both the impact that Bid Group digital strategy is having in such an important industry as the fact that they did it in such a short period of time. It actually was only one year ago that Bid Group visited us here in Boston at Liveworks and we formalized our commercial relationship. It's a great job, Bid Group. So Stephen and team leveraged PTC success plan, a strategically packaged set of services, resources, expertise, and personalized guidance to expedite business outcomes and the time to value. If the success path as previously described by Kevin is how to do it, a success plan subscription is the vehicle to access value added success services at every life cycle stage through one cohesive experience. Our success plans include an experienced customer success manager who provides proactive support throughout your entire journey with us. Focused on you, they provide expertise and prescriptive guidance. Executive business reviews assure we stay on track to achieve mutual business objectives. Success points redeemable for different success services are available for each of your use cases, such as rapid outcomes, subject matter expertise, training or more, all targeted really at accelerating the time to first value, driving full technology adoption and moving to full impact at scale. If this story of product and service innovation by the Bid Group is relevant to your company, then I would recommend this session in the Liveworks catalog with my colleague Ian Michel. As we have learned from this crisis, the ability to remotely monitor and service connected products is absolutely critical. Leveraging the powerful new capabilities in ThingWorks 9, our out-of-the-box solutions accelerate time to value by reducing service costs or by creating innovative new services for your customers, as you just saw with Bid Group. Another great session to check out is the ThingWorks platform and solutions roadmap hosted by Joe Byron and yet another Kevin, Kevin Foster. Joe and Kevin will provide an in-depth overview of ThingWorks and discuss the vision of the platform's evolution, explore a high-level roadmap, 
and explain PTC's strategy for meeting the evolving needs of customers and partners. Thanks, Eduarda. Bid Group's digital transformation success story is so, so relevant in our new normal. Stephen and his team have really done an absolutely amazing job. They certainly have. You know, service is really important to the Bid Group. And really, for all of you out there, service is a really critical component to ensure that your customers capture all the value from your products. I'd like to share with you another story of a company who has invested to optimize their service division. But first, a little question. Are you facing increasing demands from your customers on response time and service, and also being challenged by your competition to act more quickly? Well, Carmen Kubo faced that very challenge. Carmen's the manager of global service parts at Hitachi Data Systems. Hitachi operates an extensive service division that ensures all of its customers' data systems remain up and running. Their challenge was not just to meet their customers' uptime service level agreements, but to do it without killing their cost structure. Most of their agreements stipulate that the company has to resolve service issues within two to four hours. Oh, imagine that. Now keep in mind, this Hitachi division includes a service parts planning organization that supports 45,000 sites in 110 different countries, covering a total of 14 million assets. It's a complex problem, to say the least. Now, Carmen's idea was to implement PTC Servigistic Service Parts Management Software to optimize global service parts supply chain that helps them ensure the right parts are available when and where they're needed for service. Now, when service is required, having the right part in the right place at the right time is really critical to maintain the highest levels of customer service. With Servigistics, they can accomplish this cost effectively and delight their customers while contributing to high levels of customer loyalty and retention. To quote Carmen, the only thing that differentiates us from everyone else is our service. Customers have choices, and we believe it's our service that helps them win and us to retain their business. Now, the solution helped Hitachi to meet their two objectives of delight and retention while reducing the service parts supply chain overhead by 20%. Asset uptime optimization was critical. It adjusts global inventory to ensure that any assets uptime and availability targets are met. Also, they worked on equipment utilization causal forecasting, which forecasts parts demand based on customer usage and location. Also, they run all of this on the cloud, which allows them to upgrade to the current releases more often to take advantage of new functionality and avoid unexpected costs. Now, one of the ways that PTC continues to drive engagement and support from customers in their transformation journey is through the PTC community. This robust network of collaborative spaces is a gathering place for PTC customers and partners to showcase their work, inspire each other, share ideas or best practices in order to expand the value of their PTC solutions and services. Now, just a couple of statistics. There were 2.7 million sessions last year. There's over 35,000 active users. We have 2,500 new registrants each quarter, and there's 120,000 threads of collectively built knowledge that you can access. Now, 80% of all questions receive an acceptable solution. 50% of questions get a, a response within the first eight hours, and further, an 80% within just two days. Now, different forms, forms are available across different product lines and focusing on different business challenges, including service parts management and service parts pricing. It allows for deeper technical and strategic conversations relevant to your challenges and your needs between you and your colleagues. Now, service is really key to the su success of any company. It's been a really exciting year for our Servigistic solution. In just January, IDC released their Service Parts Management Marketscape. Ser Servigistics got the top spot for advanced capabilities and our strategy. Now, if you're interested in optimizing your service division, please be sure to check out Leslie Paulson's session in the LiveWorks catalog to learn more about service parts optimization and advanced data science. Leslie will highlight how service parts optimization solves the most complex service supply chain challenges. 
She'll also help you understand our path of innovation for service parts optimization technology. And she'll also dive into how artificial intelligence and machine learning improve service parts management. This inform informative session is not to be missed. So cool, Kevin. Itachi is really differentiating themselves with their improved service offerings. Well done, Carmen, and to the team. Very impressive results. Yeah, they really have accelerated value to their customers. Now, the past four customer stories all share a common theme of being centered around the need to better serve their customers by improving engineering, manufacturing, and service. Right, but our final story is a very special one about how technology and the human spirit can come together to make amazing things happen and to create a better world. As you know, COVID-19 put significant strain on the world's hospital and healthcare infrastructure. Hospitalization rates for COVID brought into question the capacity to be able to handle all the cases. So many countries, including the US, started looking for alternatives to safely care for patients while minimizing the spread of the viruses essentially field hospitals. The complication is that field hospitals have essentially no isolation or air filtration capabilities that is absolutely required for treating COVID-19 patients or even for the healthcare workers. This is where the power of science and human spirit raise to the challenge. The US Army Corps of Engineers put out specifications to create a self-contained isolation unit, fully functioning hospital rooms that can be transported or can be built on site, and including everything, the structural framing for the room, the ventilation, the plumbing, the electrical assembly, very complicated stuff that needs to happen really fast. A group of several companies led by Scott Miller at the Innovation Machine rallied to help design and define these self-contained isolation units. And these companies, including PTC, quickly committed to contribute, which is really fantastic. But now imagine that you need to set up a way for all of these companies to collaborate. First and foremost, how to create a common design that combined elements of product development, of the architecture design, the system integrator in a single platform regardless of which CAT system each team member is using, what company they come from, or where they are located around the globe. Collaboration and speed was critical if this program was going to be successful. Not only the technology needed to be enabled, but really quick decisions needed to be taken. That's right, Eduarda. Now, we at PTC felt compelled to act, and then many of our great customers and partners also stepped up and joined us to create a better world. Within just 24 hours of the innovation group reaching out to us, we responded by providing the collaboration tools that the group needed with cloud-based windchill as the foundation. Now we started with an out-of-the-box cloud-based production in instance of windchill that we made available within hours that enabled the team to begin to compile a fully digital design. But we didn't just provide software and technical expertise to optimize collaboration. We also contributed with some digital thread and digital design advice to help the group solve some of their challenges. What was also wonderful to see was how other PTC partners and customers joined and added to the team as the weeks went by. Just to give you an example, Ansys did CFD modeling on the room negative pressure validation. It's a true representation of the power of this community. The team then added AR for visualization, for design collaboration, for training, and positioning the offering to the US Army Corps of Engineers, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, and state government agencies. The system supported numerous pivots in design, very fluid, giving them a platform to fully enable digital twin, digital thread, that could not only be built, but actually is ready to be monitored, operated, and in case of need, to be serviced at mass scale. Now, the best news here is that the impromptu collaboration and fast action of these 20 plus companies created the design that could help US state governments, FEMA, and other government agencies battle COVID-19. This is one amazing story of how the human spirit and technology coming together 
changing our ability to be prepared for what is to come with COVID-19 or with other massive crises or disasters that require alternate care sites. It's one of many. From all of us at PTC, a heartfelt thank you to Scott, this team, and all of you that find new solutions to really difficult challenges. Now, as we wrap up our session on digital transformation, Eduarda and I both want to send a special thank you to our customers who so willingly shared their success stories. To Rod Gill at Roy and Enfield and their story of innovating in the engineering process for mass customization and shorter design cycles. To Eddie Van Stroot at VCST and their story of manufacturing efficiency and cost savings with their impactful Smart Factory initiative. To Stephen Hoffer at Bid Group and their product and service innovation story that creates immediate value to their wood process customers. And to Carmen Kubo and the team at Hitachi Data Systems for their story of optimizing service parts management across their supply chain. And finally, to all these companies that came together to design self-contained isolation units in the fight against COVID-19. Now, all of these customers have approached digital transformation as a business imperative. Each one had sizable challenge that needed to be so solved. Leadership was required in solving the challenges, whether it was in engineering, in manufacturing, or in service, or in any combination of those three. They all have shared traits. They clearly identified their problem. They identified the value of solving their problem, and then they implemented plans that leverage digital transformation technologies combined with brand new processes. Now, before COVID-19, digital transformation was a requirement to get a competitive advantage. Now, it's a mandate in the new normal. PTC is focused on helping you accelerate your digital transformation with everything we have, from market-leading technologies in CAD, PLM, IoT, and AR, all the way to customer success offerings across the engineering, manufacturing, and service chains. You, our customers, our partners, our developers are amazing. Your input inspires us to create the products and the success offerings that we deliver. There's a lot of attention these days to the essential workers and very rightfully so. But when it comes to business, you are the essential workers. You are dedicated to your customer success, and we at PTC are dedicated to your success. We will do everything we can to empower you to lead your companies through the mandate of digital transformation. Thank you for joining our session today. I am Eduardo Camacho. And I'm Kevin Wren. And we hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you, Kevin and Eduardo, for joining us today. That concludes our second session of the day. Next up, at the top of the hour, we will dive into Artificial Emotional Intelligence, or Emotion AI, to learn what it is and why it matters. We'll be right back after a short break.